Now, I'm sure that most of you know the old story about the astronaut who went far out into space. Sprite, the daddy mix. Oh my god. <laughs> Not sponsored. Ugh. All right. Hey guys, welcome back to No Side. It's Antonio. I'm joined here with uh, the usuals, the regulars, the other hosts of the, the show, Giovanni and Brandon. How you guys doing? Pretty good. Doing all right. Oh, well, I'm mm-hmm. enjoying this wafer. Here, you, you, you talk a little bit, Brandon. Lead, lead in the show. I feel like I have to burp. Like so, that okay, happens. Giovanni, you got it. Okay, you got it. So <laughs> today's episode, I'm not sure what we're gonna be talking about. Well, but, um, you, you have one thing to talk about. It? Yeah, I was just about to mention. I just got back from episode Puerto 10. Rico today. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, that's a big thing we got to talk about. Hold what? on, it's the big one zero. We hit. We the hit big double one-o. digits. Oh yes, so it's episode it's a, ten. It's episode ten. Woo woo. Woo woo. Yay. Celebration. I, I guess I, I guess it's something special. Yeah, we hit double digits, man. Double we're, digits. Yeah, man. We're doing good. We're doing all right. Weekly we're doing pretty episodes. good for ourselves. But yes, uh, back back to back to before. You you're back. Yeah, man. You're back in no side. Gone for like ten days, a little bit less. Tell tell the uh, tell the listeners about your travels. Okay, so it was it was a pretty rough start. <laughs> um, I lost like two and a half days of vacation because. JetBlue couldn't get their shit straight. <laughs> so, not only, like, the first day, um, we spent five hours waiting, just delayed flights and everything, and then they send an email saying that our flight plus, like, 20 other flights were canceled all at the same time. And so, before they did that, like, I noticed, like, maybe 15 minutes prior to getting the email that our flight was canceled... Hmm. All the staff in the terminal was gone. They all were. They they told the staff, get the hell out of there. It's about to become a mess. <laughs> because, dude, there were so many people in that terminal. It was like you couldn't move without stepping on somebody's shoes. That's awful. Yeah, it was terrible. So we had to deal with that for like two and a half days. Then the day we finally left, it was still delayed. Um, How long was it delayed? I didn't know. I didn't know the day you got out. It was delayed. Uh, I believe it was delayed by like an hour, hour or so. Not bad, but still annoying. Yeah, and I don't think it was like a, a like a legit delay. They were just slow with setting uh-huh. up everything. So, mm-hmm. but um, yeah. Other than that, I had a great time. Got to see a bunch of family that I really miss. Um, I went to the beach. Did a bunch of things. Went to like the mountains, dude. Did you know in Puerto uh, Rico that oh, there's there a- it is. Remember? <laughs> Remember? <laughs> All right. But, um, yeah, it beaches not, in Puerto Rico. Believe it or not, there's um a town like on top of the mountains hmm. called Ay Bonito, and that is like the one place. What was it? Puerto Ibuprofen? What'd you say? Ay <laughs> Bonito. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> So it's on like basically a whole town on top of the mountains, and that is like the one place on the island where it has like the potential to snow. Oh, really? Yes, like it's that high. Is it, up oh, that, yeah, I was just about to say. But it's like a whole town up there. Oh, wow. And it's kind of crazy getting up there. Like you wouldn't. It's basically like going back and forth, going up a mountain. Mm. And that's how you get up there. So, like, I don't understand how truck drivers and, like, buses... Oh, this isn't just, like, a walking trail? This is an actual road? This is a road, yes. Oh, holy shit. Yes. Oh, my God. And, and, like, you're going up this mountain, and there's, like, minimum guardrails. There's, like, almost nothing to protect you from falling off. So, like... You gotta be a good driver. Just sketch. You sneeze at the wrong bend. Yeah, you can press send down yourself. on the gas a little bit too much. <laughs> send yourself flying. <laughs> but um, yeah. So that was really cool. There's this thing called um, patatas or or um, baba de relleno. And it's I'm like, gonna what? It's like a stuffed potato. Oh, okay. Mm. It's really good. It's like just a potato stuffed with like some kind of meat. Your choice. Mm. It's, it's sad. Really it's good. sad. This is all like Puerto Rican cuisines, and yes. I am Puerto Rican yet I am so very like uncultured. Do you know what That sounds familiar. It's, I'm sure I've heard it's it. It's like the, um, I believe it's like the 
this like the skin of the pork mm. or, like the pig or something but like it's really crunchy you never had that no. they had the same place they had like really long strips of it and that shit little is, cube right um yes almost almost like the cube except this one was like the length of the piece oh you know okay. the chicharron one is like you know really long so like a big slice of bacon cubes. Yeah, it was just that whole Kinda thing like bacon but slim it, like, jim really thick mm. like a thick piece of bacon because it's just pure fat that's all it is oh it's like skin and fat is it good for you no, no. Oh, okay. but it's, that's what it's meant it's meant to be like like a dessert almost but it's not all dessert. Right. it's a meat dessert yeah it's really good though, but they had the reason why I brought that up is because they were it's unique to that like area where mm. they just had really big pieces and they sell them. But is it good for you? No, it kills you. <laughs> <laughs> no, not good at all. It clogs your all. arteries. Um, I want to show you guys some pictures. Did you did you see any uh, cool animals while you were in the Puerto Rico? Anything that's any like uh, out of this realm to a New Jerseyan? So you know in uh. Warhammer, my guy has the um, the lizard, and he's like on top of the staff. Yeah, yeah. I found him, Doug. Check him out. Oh, holy shit! You found the real life. Oh shit, that's pretty. Found cool. Found the real life lizard. Yeah, so there's like little lizards all over the place on the island. Um, other animals. My one of my uncles owned some chickens. I got to see that. Two. So they were actually getting ready to lay eggs. They were having like contractions and whatnot. It was kind of weird, but like you just see <laughs> like their their butts just like lifting Better up and lay. down. Better lay eggs. Um, well, this is like a a pelican. We went to like a pier. Oh, so like What's up, they guy? they actually have it where you buy like little bags of like frozen sardines. I was hoping you were going to say you can like, actually anchovies. buy pelicans. <laughs> <laughs> you can buy the pelican, man. <laughs> but um, no, 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 like. Then you just toss it to either the pelican or they had a bunch of fish by the pier too where like big fish, like I'm talking like maybe almost the length of this table. That's pretty dope. This is a pretty long table. Yeah. Look at those fuckers. Oh my god. They look like sharks. That's just in size comparison to my aunt. Holy shit. Yeah, man. Yeah, he's like eyeing her now. They don't like people. Oh yeah, so, so yeah, he kind of looks a little like yo. He, he's sus right fuck now. Fuck mm-hmm. you doing here? <laughs> he's a little nervous. Um, yeah, dude, Puerto Rico. Yeah, man. Now that we're on YouTube, are you, can you put pictures in the video? Yeah, yeah, I could. Yeah, yeah, Giovanni, you just gotta say, you just gotta send me over the photos, sure. um, the ones that you've showed, spoke of, and we'll be able to put them in the video so people listening to the podcast, um, on YouTube. You can look over while uh, while we're talking. You can see the photos. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm about to send you a photo right now. And then also, this was a... Uh, just check out this view. We went to, like, this area in Ponce, which is the, uh, the big town that I was staying nearby. And that is, like... In each town, they have a place like that where it's basically you go to a top of a mountain... And it's just like this little, um, I'm trying to think of like the, it's like a little platform that so you can just crazy. go and see the entire landscape. The brand. Right. You just see the entire landscape and it's beautiful. They have one in, I think, Iborito as well. And that's a whole town in the mountains. So I just, we didn't get to see that one. I mm. wish we did though. Yeah, it looks fucking that's majestic. Fuck. Mm-hmm. The, the, the views were amazing. The weather was always hot. Um, I have this video, dude, I felt like I was in heaven. This is from my uncle's solar, it's called, but it's just like his second home, just like a really nice getaway mm. for him. Is so, that like a mango tree? That's a star fruit. A star fruit? Yes. They're really sweet fruit, and it's like literally just shaped like a star. Mm. Dude, he has a whole tree of it with like hundreds of those fruits just growing off of it. Did you eat some? Yes. Yeah? Like, you can literally pick it off the tree and just eat it. That's pretty dope. Mm-hmm. In Arizona, my cousins have lemon trees. Hmm? I said in Arizona, my cousins have lemon trees. Really? Yeah. That's pretty dope. Yeah, that's pretty lemon, awesome. Lemon and oranges. I took this video just chilling on, like, a hammock and with, like, a palm tree just, like, chilling, like, right above you. Were you high as fuck the entire trip? No. No. Actually, that was another thing I told Brandon already. I went two days clean. Wow. What a cycle, right? Wow, you know what? Thank you. Proud of you. 
I'm thinking about doing a uh, sober October. This, this, upcoming thinking, October. this guy's even more psycho than you. <laughs> I'm thinking of like seriously cutting down on how much I smoke and whatnot because at this trip I just, you know, it was funny. We thought we were gonna see like issues with like withdrawal and stuff. <laughs> Not at all. Like I feel like I drank so much water. It was so hot, and I just sweat so much from the moment we landed to like. Just twenty four seven, like you're mm. sweating in your sleep. That it just didn't really bother me that much. I don't think there really is a such thing as like a legit weed withdrawal. I think it's all psychological. So as long as you I can tell so yourself, well. like I really don't need this. Like the three of us, I could tell we're competent human beings. So like if I gave you this ultimatum, like yo, dude, no weed for a week, or like like. You can't get weed at all, so you're dry for a week. I Nothing mean, you could do. Like, you gotta, I could deal with it. Like, like I've, yes, I feel like I could do it. It's yeah. just, I, I will not be happy with it. You know, that'll be like a symptom, I guess. I just feel like, I feel like you should be able to find a, a happy balance, though. Be, be able to be comfortable within that sobriety and then also be able to enjoy the, the high of the ganja. There's so much bullshit that goes on in my life that, just being sober, I, I wouldn't be able to take it. Like, m- being high just makes it manageable. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I feel you. Yeah. Tolerable. Exactly. Just lets you get by. You just don't understand how people be raw dogging it like that. Uh, yeah, you know, how does... <laughs> the, how do you just go every day, you know, suffering? Sober. Sober, dude. Fuck that. At least do something. And then on the opposite spectrum of things, people that get extra high, the dabbers... The fuck, like that, that is the wax. That's, that's just ex- excessive. I don't do that. That's dope. Or, how, that's dope. That's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> that's dumb. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, I feel like it's a lot of extra work. A lot more. Like, dude. Like, come on. Don't you want to just roll up a blunt, pull out your bic lighter, and light that shit instead of needing to buy a fucking two hundred dollar rig to use a fucking blowtorch you would use to weld a car to be able to smoke this shit. Yeah, and you're only using process. like a point two of a gram. Yeah, but it's like yeah, it's supposed to send you to fucking Jupiter. Like, hey, have you ever dabbed? Yes, like a few times. You ever dabbed once? It gets you ripped, but not for long. It, not for it, it long just at all. Me to sleep. Yeah, it's like the, edibles. After that, I'll hit a dab, and like twenty minutes later, I'm like, okay, let's smoke a blunt. Mm. Like, you know, like I can keep on smoking blunt after blunt after blunt and just keep getting high and it's fucking great. But when it comes to like edibles, I pop one. I don't even I don't even get to enjoy it. I get high, really fucking high. And then I'm I fall dead. asleep. Yeah. Slumber gone. And then it's the same thing with the fucking dabs. Like, it's just there's no fun in it. You just get really high and then you go to sleep for fucking nine hours. The joy of getting high for me is the whole process of rolling a blunt and then smoking it but when i'm smoking it i'm like i'm on my phone i'm chilling you know what i mean yeah well when i'm not with you guys but you know so but still yeah like, yeah that's what i mean it's you like you can enjoy the experience exactly yeah. enjoy the experience the dab is just like shit i'm running late for work okay let me dab real quick or let me hit the bong yeah let me hit, let me take five ten minutes out of my day to sit down and try to smoke something whereas like you can multitask with a blunt yeah, you just can smoke, smoke it on your shit. way to work. Yeah, smoke that shit on your way to work. Fucking smoke that shit mowing your lawn, washing dishes. I would love to smoke a blunt mowing the lawn. Dude, right? I feel, I feel awesome. so liberating. I, I, I feel like that makes you feel like, like, like a want, free man. I want to yeah. be able to roll over in the morning and just light my blunt. Oh, uh, it's, already, it's already rolled. Like, you rolled one before you went the to sleep, before. and it's just sitting in the ashtray next to you, and you just wake up. Just, <laughs> yeah, you just, not even, you just finished the blunt you, you rolled last night. Oh, dude, yeah. You get tired. <sighs> Sounds amazing. A dream. A dream. But it's so- soon to come to reality, guys. Yeah, man. Should we talk about that? Um, or should we should we keep that on the hush hush for now? Hush hush. Okay. Yeah, because hush, hush? it's still okay. like okay. super early. Yeah. Okay. Every everybody listening, we just men in black to you, so you don't remember the last like fifteen seconds. <laughs> 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 oh but, man. Um, also, I just want speaking of smoking stuff. Do you want to burn some incense? Uh, are we allowed to? Yeah, go ahead. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah I would love to. I would love to try it out. Yeah, Why you don't could... you guys explain what? I got for you guys. 
Yeah. Okay. Puerto Rico. I Where got a lighter, lighter with a frog on it. It's really cool. It says Puerto Rico. It, it, sorry, it's more than a lighter. It's like a tourist lighter, so like it, it looks you, nice and everything. It's a lighter, but it comes in like a little pouch that has a frog on it. A little lighter that says sleeve. Puerto Rico. A, little, yeah. a little lighter koozie. Yep. Yeah. And it's a keychain too, so I could put it there. And you also you also gave me a little container to put stuff in. You know what kind you of stuff. You know that's like handmade. Really? Yeah. Handmade by smells these like another nuts. country. S- same thing with this little incense holder. All handmade. Yeah, man. And then we could take pictures of all this stuff and we could add it to the YouTube, right? So people can see everything. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Sweet. We can even post the shit on Instagram and everything. Yeah, let people see what's uh, going in on No Side. Even if you want, log in on the fucking No Side Instagram now and make a post. Put your lighter there. Yeah, it's- Oh, and you also got me a shirt. You also got me yes. this this uh, weed necklace, this little ganja necklace. Kind of jealous of the necklace, but the shirt's cool too. Really? <laughs> <laughs> no, where'd my sleeve go? Ah, there it is. Be careful with that one, by the way. I noticed after I bought it that the glue on the back is I like, noticed. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. you might need to put a little extra glue. Well, it could come out. Yeah, like it wasn't. I mean, done but that's that good. Well. So you could always replace it. You know. What are like like a crack lighter? No, no, no. I mean, like it comes out like yours does as well. Like, what? Oh shit! Yeah. What I meant was this back part here is like oh, not not. Got um, you. Yeah, it's not the best. Yes. Yeah, so this flavor is actually white sage. That's what it is. Yeah, I really like the smell already. It does smell nice. Is that leaning? Guys, if you're watching on YouTube, put your yeah, you're nose good, you're good. to the screen and you can smell it too. <laughs> Isn't there, dude, the fucking South Park game? Remember the Stick of Truth? Didn't they have a, uh, v- a VR attachment that allows you to smell their farts in the game? I don't even remember that. Dude, what the yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> Take a picture Look it of up. My, I swear to God, shirt. dude, there's like a smell like a smell VR thing for the South Park Stick of Truth game. South and when like Park. characters fart in the game, it's supposed to like make you be able to smell the farts. I don't want to have the... Uh... That addition to my VR headset. <laughs> that DLC. Yeah, I don't want that. <laughs> Introducing it, the no- Nostalus Rift fart yes. smell VR tech. Yes, you can probably even see people using it on YouTube. I'm pretty sure Pootie Pie has, has used it like way back in the day. Terrible. Cool necklace though. Hold on. Here, check it out. Wow, yeah, there is Pootie Pie. Smell farts in video games. October second, two thousand sixteen. Mm. Wow, that's old. Wow. I know, I know, um, I'm not sure if you know, know the guy, Giovanni, uh, I know Brandon does, his name's KYR Speedy, old fucking COD, uh, COD yes. YouTuber. Yes. Um, he, he, like, deluxes and Jehovah and sidearms and shit, yeah, a whole fucking crew, but anyway, I'm not gonna get all fucking nerdy right now. Um. I would actually like to revisit the Jehovah topic in a bit. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, but, um, yeah, I know, uh, Speedy has also used the, um, the the fucking what was it called the the nos what Nosilus, the, the Nosilus Nosilus Rift and <laughs> that's apparently a that's like poster. a key function for it yes because yeah. that's all I saw it was Nosilus Rift fart like immersion that's all it is for it's just to smell farts like come on yo not I, to I smell want, some nice white some sage like, like we're smelling VR right now shit I don't yeah. want VR to smell farts. <laughs> but think, why, why is that what they probably? I wonder how much money had to be put into making all I'm of saying. those units. Like, imagine just to smell farts. I mean, I don't think it's. I mean, if it's just for the farts, that's such. That's a That's literally all it is. Oh my god! I, if how much? Are, mu- how many did they make? How many were bought? How many idiots bought that? Right? <laughs> like, come on. I, they, they had to have sold so many Dude, of those. so many. Because like, think about it. You, there's nothing else like that. You yeah. yeah. VR where it's full 360 immersive environment. Have, have friends over and be like, you want to smell like, some like, farts? Yeah, you can way, hear bro. things with a kick-ass headset. You can see things. You're in the game. <laughs> and you can smell one thing. So they're just, just slowly adding <laughs> all the yeah. senses. It's going to turn into like Sword Art Online where you just get into like a full dive thing. And you go into the Matrix. You literally go in. Yeah, exactly. That's fucked up though. Like you can have this whole VR experience 
right? Have this whole VR experience, but you're fucking, um, what, like, smell deaf? Like, you you can't smell shit but one thing, and that's just farts. I wouldn't get that until no. they came out with, like, an update. At least yeah. an extra smell or two. Like, mm-hmm. come on. Can I smell, like, fresh laundry or some fucking Febreze? Something. <laughs> come on. Anything. It just farts? That's, that's it? That's, that's all they saying. invested in? Like- like Imagine that, that board meeting, the creation of it. Like, who greenlit that? <laughs> who brought like, that idea to the table? There was like, a signature put down on paper, most likely. Like, yeah, this is a great idea. They signed, signed off. VR. For it. Yeah. <sighs> they held a meeting. A that. meeting. Suits and ties. Big wigs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so you wanted you wanted to talk about Jehovah. What what about the oh, uh, Jehovah? So, so the dude, some, some so my on my dad's side of the family, there's some people that are Jehovah Witness. Mm-hmm. Okay, one of them was in the area. They live in Florida. One of them was in the area while we were in Puerto Rico, and she had missed her flight in Newark. She missed it by like five minutes, so she didn't have anybody else to contact except my dad. So he. Went to pick her up. He let her stay here for the night. And in the room where she slept in, she slept in my mom's room. My mom has a lot of Catholic stuff. And so she has the cross with Jesus on it. And then like a little um, like saint or something. Like a little, another little statue of like a saint. They turned, a, like they literally went through her stuff and turned everything around to face the wall. Really? Now, I don't know about you, but my mom was livid. That's why she was mad? Yes. You told me she was mad earlier. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god. So like not only did you let like let somebody stay in your home, stay in your room where you have all your personal shit, mm. they literally went through it, touched things, and then Ugh. like your religion. Like I know mm. us we're not super religious, but my mom is. So it's yeah. like that for her is like She has, like, the saints watching over her as she sleeps, you know, blessing the room and Mm -hmm. everything. You turn that against, like, the wall that's, like, turning the cross upside down. I was going to make a joke. I was going to be like, what, did she turn the crosses upside down? But basically, Basically, yeah. yeah, She turned everything facing the wall and, like, moved it. It wasn't even in the same spots that my mom had put it in. And she was livid, so I just want, like, y'all opinions on that. Like, what do you think? Like, if somebody was to go into your room, start turning shit around, you know, start messing with your shit, like... Third degree murder. Yes. 100%. Yeah. Um, back 25, in, 30. I actually have a similar prison. story. Back in high school, I had invited two people over to my grandparents' house. I'm not gonna... I'll tell you guys after the story. Mm. You can well, make, like, podcast. you can make substitute names, like, call them, like, fucking Pablo and Juan. Uh, Okay, uh... Frederick and... Kyle and Gavin. Perfect, all right. Kyle and Gavin, I I (laughs) brought them over to my house, right? And we're chilling, and then I remember we're about to head out. And then Kyle is like, yo, if you don't hurry up, we're going to turn everything in your kitchen or in your house upside down. And I'm Uh, like, what? Like, the fuck are you talking about? So then, you know, I do do my thing. I get ready, and I'm like, all right... Let's go. Let's let's dip, bro. I get a phone call like an hour later. Like, why the fuck is everything upside down? The spices, the fucking the, <laughs> the spices, <laughs> dude. What the fuck, the spices, <laughs> dude. The spices, the cups, the mugs, the salt. Everything was upside down, bro. I can imagine when they're finishing and they're like, "Is that it?" And they're like, "No, the spices." The spices. <laughs> Dude, like they went in the cabinets and turned everything upside down. You see, like that's a huge invasion of privacy, right? Like, so I Going get like, funny as fuck, but cabinets. a huge invasion. Of Personally, privacy. like I didn't care because, like I said, that's my grandma's house. Mm-hmm. I thought it was kind of funny, but I could see how they got mad. Yeah, because literally everything was upside down in the kitchen. But you've been like, inside you know yeah you've seen yeah yeah so but Every- it's like how do you extend your hand to somebody and they're you know it's one thing for them to be so deep into their religion like it's not mm-hmm. the point that they're a jehovah witness or anything like whatever you do what you want but don't be touching our shit mm-hmm. and it's like we're letting you stay in the room for one night you telling me you couldn't bear to look at a cross for one night 
Yeah, it I bothered don't, I don't you get that, that much. You had to be that disrespectful. Yeah, like I like I'm not religious yet. Like if I were to stay in, say, like I stayed stayed the night, and I mm-hmm. I stayed in a guest room, and there was a fucking cross cross in Just the room, look at like, it and wouldn't think it. Yeah, wouldn't give it a second thought. Yeah, I don't. I, I, people are just fucking weird. Yeah, man, I don't get it. It was weird and just disrespectful, and I think probably did it to to like with the intent of pissing off my mom. Oh, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like you think like, wrong. Like, fuck your religion, basically. Yeah. Yeah, that's all that. that That's exactly what that is. Like, that's flipping really the cross out. around, that's a complete disrespect yes. to the religion, no yep. matter what. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. So, yeah, third degree murder, for sure. Dude, my... For people I, listening, I, I never kidding. saw her get mad so fast. Because she, she was already pissed because you and my dad let all the plants die. I did. I water them, like, almost every day. The, all but, the cucumbers died. Oh. Yeah. I mean... I mean, you tried. You tried. I... Alright. In my defense, <laughs> I've never had the responsibility of watering anything. Mm-hmm. So, when I watered them, I I know you guys told me to do it at, like, 8 in the morning. Tried. I I probably watered it at, like, earliest 9. So, it's I like... You. Yeah. You know? It's like... No, so my mom yeah. was already annoyed about that and how, you know, how my dad just leaves shit all over the house. Um, so she was annoyed about that, too. And then that was just, like, icing on the cake. Hmm. She opened, like, she literally opens the door to her room, and that was the first thing she noticed. Like, she noticed it immediately. That's unbelievable. I feel bad about the cucumbers, though, now that I know, like... Cause to, okay. to be honest, I really did try like every day. I was mm-hmm. like, "Oh shit!" Like I I gotta do this. Yeah, no, that's fine. She wasn't like mad at you. She was mad at my dad. It's okay. She was mad at me. She we had a talk about the plants. <laughs> <laughs> I get it, you know. But like I said, in my defense, you tried. Yeah, you technically did do it. I did. I actually did it today too. Right. Yeah, that's adorable. Yeah, <laughs> sent me a snap one day, just watering the plants. I was like, "No way!" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude. I was hanging out with Nugget outside. I was smoking a blunt, doing it. It was great. That goes back to the uh, wanting to like smoke a blunt and mow the lawn. Yeah, yeah like I can't dab in fucking <laughs> water plants. <laughs> you know, what you sent me, isn't it? Weren't what? you smoking and watering the plants? Yeah, yeah. It's it such lit. a liberating feeling. It just and I was hanging out with Nugget outside. Weird. Yeah, he's. He's doing a lot better. He's been jumping. I, I know you have. You, I know you told me not to let him jump up and down, mm-hmm. but like he does. Yeah. Okay. You know, it's just. No, like, I mean that's hey. that's good. That's what um, I'm saying. Yeah. So I mean, he's better than what he was before. Exactly. That's good. Excuse me. Nugget the boy. He does not listen though. Mm, not not to you. I mean, when I tell him like. He has PTSD when I yell at him. I tell him to. Uh, <laughs> To come inside or let's go outside, he'll listen. But when it's time for me to go to work and he's in my room, I'm like, yo. He doesn't want to leave. Right? No, I'm like, Nugget, like, I gotta go. I'm not leaving you in my room. What the you fuck? You gotta, like, drag him from underneath the bed uh, or something? Yes. Yeah, he, he does that to everybody. But I don't know why, but when I yell at him and I tell him to do something, he fucking listens. He's like, okay, master, okay, yeah, master. No, I think... <laughs> One time he wouldn't start bar- stop barking for shit. I got so fed up that after that time, I think that like was ingrained in his memory that when I tell him to do something, he does. He it. gets like a flashback of that moment. And he's like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> he, but he always listens to me. I never have that issue with him. My uh, my cat um, has claimed this box in our house, this cardboard box. Um, it's a really tiny one, like like you like someone got like a book. Like, if it that's sits, how tiny. it fits. Or if it yeah, it, if it fits, it sits. Yeah. Yeah. If, <laughs> if it, it fits, it sits. It sits. And this that, is yes. what this cat did. This little fucking cat managed to wiggle herself into this box. It was literally sleeping, curled up in this box. And I just like picked up the box with her and I was just walking around the house with her. Nice. And I told my sister I want her to paint the box like a rocket ship. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's, like, that's awesome. Just so my, my cat can go on little adventures, but she got really protective over it. So she would put like two of her feet in it 
just to like protect it. And when my cat, my other cat would come around, she would fucking like, <laughs> oh just gosh. like get away. <laughs> Jeez. It's just a box. Calm down. <laughs> Dude, they fucking, it's her home now. She lives it. Dude, she was literally just standing in this box like all day. Like, like, before come. before I went to work, like, I would, like, walk out to have a smoke, come back through the kitchen. She's just sitting in this fucking box, staring at the door, like, hello, sir. <laughs> near my box. Yeah, she's just protecting it. Freaking Jeez. dumb animals. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say that. <laughs> it's all heart, heart how, how do you like the incense, by the way? So it's, it smells it's nice. nice. Yeah, yeah it's, very, it's a very nice smell. Do you, yeah. If you were to guess the flavor, what would you say it was? I know what it is. Incense. Yeah, honestly, all incense kind of smell very similar to each other. Really? I'm not. That's probably just my nose, though. I have it's... I have some different types of incense at home. They they all do kind of have their own like scent, but after a while, it does just kind of like I guess yeah. like stuff up your your fucking definitely your senses, and it just it's... smells like smoke. But it's still pleasant. It's white sage. Yeah, the, the sage, the, the the white of the sage. Why couldn't it be Black Sage, Giovanni? You, I, I you're didn't not telling pick. us something? I didn't pick. You didn't pick? Who picked? Um, whoever made it. He handed it to you. And They're like, this here. <laughs> yeah, no, the, because I was asking him if it was uh, handmade, and, and he thought I was asking for uh, like what flavor it was. So he Flavor? Told me, yeah. So he told me the scent was White Sage, and I was like, no. It's not what I asked, but cool. <laughs> it does smell nice. I like it. It is. It's actually really nice. Yeah, it's pleasant. Sm- smoking while uh, having an incense going is also very relaxing. Yes. It uh, it like almost increases the because the slightly. incense is supposed to relax you already. Mm. The, the weed on top of it just enhances that. For sure. Yeah. You seen the video sure. of uh. Like Fourth of July in the hood, and it's like somebody gave oh kids yes. incense instead of sparklers. <laughs> they were running around with incense burners. Yeah. Someone gave the kid incense. <laughs> He's like, Who gave you that? I don't know. Kids yeah. are just standing around. I don't they're know if just, it's working. They're waving it around. <laughs> like it's a sparkler. That was, oh my gosh, that video. Sparkler smells funny. It smells like white sage. How did you know that, Timmy? <laughs> how, did you, how did you know that smelled like white sage <laughs> <laughs> guys the um, it's almost the end of July yeah this it's month this August. month went by fast fast very the, fast 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 Rooney. not as fast as Red Rush I'm ready for oh it, my though. god yeah. yeah he wasn't fast enough we though. haven't got your uh, full reactions on yeah that. we so right before so no we... no spoilers but just I want your your reactions your emotions yeah right before we wa- so... right before we hit record we finished watching Invincible it was my fucking third time watching that episode your second and your first <laughs> so so my reaction to that was I could kind of tell something was gonna happen with the the main guy. Omni Man. Yes, I didn't want to say names because you said no spoilers. But well, okay. they're, yeah. they're, they're the names. No plot of the spoilers. Character. Okay, yeah. so yeah, so Omni Man. I kind of expected something was gonna happen with him because I know the meme where he, like he beat the shit out of his son and he's just like you think. don't think, <laughs> think you fucking moron. <laughs> so I for, just from that and seeing how he acted at certain points in the show, I was just like, I think he's gonna like go mental. And that's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Did you expect it to go that that? way? Yeah. No. Not at all. I had expected there to be some actual problem and that was going to lead off into it. But I didn't think it was just going to be like that. (laughs) Did you expect those roster of characters to be around for a while? Yes. Yes, I did. Yeah? Yes, I thought. They we would see that's exactly that's how i thought i thought they were gonna be in it for a couple and more then episodes just one after the other just like nothing Thanos nothing. snapped it. that's what and, would happen if superman the first goes guy, the red angry. rush yeah the goes red angry got me <laughs> dude that was you, ridiculous oh the pop right the pop, he, he can tell like, you even even when you saw him throwing the punches like he was punching so hard and so desperately to get away his, his arms hands or his legs broke. Arms he was just fucking <laughs> like ragdolling this guy's chest like yeah that was disgusting 
unbelievable. Yeah, guys, if you have if you haven't watched, you have to go. If you, you got at least it's the on first it's episode. on it's on Prime Video. It, it's Invincible. Fucking um, Glenn from Walking Dead's one of the characters in it. J.K. Simmons. Um, he, uh, people listening, you probably know him as. Uh, What's his face? Give me what? pictures of Spider Man. Yeah, that him. guy. That guy. Yeah. He's in there. What's his actual character's name? JJ something. I don't remember. Uh, something John Jake. Wait. Jake the Snake Roberts. No, something Johnson. But um, Seth Rogen is also in the show. Yes. Yeah. Mor- Rick is in there from Rick and Morty. Mm-hmm. Uh. A lot of cool people. Yeah. It's a really good very, show. Very good show. Yeah. Very good show. You liked it, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. cool. I I almost put it like in like the top like when it comes to like animated, like animation so like cartoons and shit, like that 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 is like high up on my list now. Yeah. Yeah. I I'm I'm excited to keep watching it. Yeah, it's very I good. Wanna, Each episode is I wanna very good. I want to get to the meme. That's the very last episode. Really? Yeah, yeah. you have a lot to go through. Wow. To get to that point. Oh, jeez. Episodes 7 and 8 are fucking fire, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. Last you have so before. much. You have so much you need to see. So much you need to witness. I'm not going to watch it again. To be honest, with you. I don't want to watch it again. <laughs> I, like, I saw it twice in a matter of a week. I'm kind of burnt out. Yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah, so if you guys want to watch it, mm. when you get to episode 7 and 8, let me know. I'll watch that with you. All right. Watching things also, something I had watched. I'm not sure if you guys are up to date, but Bad Batch... Last episode. Episode 12, right? Nah, I haven't I seen last 13. Friday episode. I think it was 12. Is it 12? 12? It 12, it's 12 or 13, Bad but it was sucks. meh. Uh, Omega's back? Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, was yeah it was, it was meh. meh. It was just another side job that kind of like didn't go anywhere and it's like... Another meh episode. Yeah. It's just like it's just been a streak of non-progression and Omega just continuously keeping shit going. Oh, yes, That's what's so thinking. fucking annoying about that show is Omega just keeps shit dragging on. Like, why are we still on this planet? Oh, it's because this bitch wants to be a fucking superhero and save somebody we don't care about at all. And then the the guy that caused him the whole problem. For that episode, she wanted to save him in the end. Yeah. I'm just like, dude, it's not your business what a freaking top-level crime gang does with, you know, their clients. Mm. They chose to do business with them. They know what could happen, potentially. Let it happen. That ain't your business. And I feel like, realistically, in a world like that, like, you're going to let a kid tell you what to do? And, like, Mm. you're, you're the top crime gang in the entire like galaxy come on you're gonna let a kid tell you what to do be like bitch now now we're coming after you for (laughs) sure just for that (coughs) god damn i feel like in a realistic setting where it wasn't owned by disney star wars could have been so much cooler yes oh for sure Imagine some like rated R Star Wars. That's what I'm saying. That's impossible. I would love that though. Apparently, Suicide Squad got a nine on the idea. Yeah, I was just apparently I was gonna bring really that up. Good. I'm hmm. excited for that. It's yeah. gonna be on HBO Max. I wouldn't want to rewatch the first one because I don't. Remember it has it no well. correlation to it. Really? No, no. It's oh, they okay. started from scratch. Right. Yeah, fuck yeah. it then. Yeah, first one was kind of like really meh. That's weird how they do that because I feel like the first Suicide Squad isn't that old. It's not. It's like from 2016, I think. Right, so it's like, yeah. I don't know, why reboot it? And they still have some of the same cast. Like, yeah, they, they Harley have Quinn. Harley. They have Harley Quinn. Uh, they Is have Ri- they have Rick Flag. No, he's, not, he's right? not in it. Um. So what happened to him? He didn't die at the end of the first one, right? Like I said, they just scrapped the first one. There is no correlation. They just started over. This is the Suicide Squad. Okay. Cool. That's why this the Suicide Squad isn't even called Suicide Squad Two. It's just called the Suicide Squad. All right, word. I like that. Yeah, give it a, a restart. Mm. But so soon. I feel so, like the first one didn't do good though. They, but I understand why they got to start doing this shit now. It's because it's like it's. We in Marvel, we are now twenty seven things in, including like movies and TV shows together. We have twenty seven installments in the Marvel franchise, Jeez. in the Marvel Cinematic Universe that are canon, canon, canon. all together, timeline, everything. 
They got us. DC, where the fuck are we? Like, Mar- Mar- Margot these. Robbie came out in an article. Uh, I read an article that she stated that she doesn't, know. she doesn't even know when or if she's going to play Harley Quinn again. Yeah. Doesn't have that information. Yeah, we're just about to get this new Suicide Squad. Sad. Like, Ben Affleck, like, don't DC, know if he'll be why, back. Why is DC all over? The, why can't they pick a storyline and, you right. know, continue with that? I feel like if they did that, they would be so much better off. Mm. Because that's what, I don't know. I feel like that's what people want. They want a solid story that they could follow. The, every movie that they come out with, it's like they're changing something. They're exactly. Gonna, like, they're going to do not. that with the Justice League. Huh? They were going to do that with the Justice League. But they guess they scrapped it. Yeah, they didn't want to do Zack Snyder. They didn't want to give him his version. It's yeah. like how many remakes are they gonna do? We've remade Justice League. We're remaking Suicide. Dude, Squad. we're getting didn't three different Batman, Batman next year. Yeah. Did they remake Batman and Superman? No, no. no. Okay, yeah. Right. We're getting three different Batman next year. Yeah, yeah that's it's like, what I'm saying. like, like what the what's fuck canon? Is that? What is it? What's what are we supposed to be paying attention to? What are we supposed to remember? Keep in mind, like it's yes. it's all fucking over the place. I just watch it out of amusement at this point. I don't even care. Like I don't care about any timeline storyline. If a Batman movie comes out, I'll watch it. If a new Justice League movie comes out, I'll watch it. If the Flash the Flash movie ends up coming out, I'll watch it. But I don't fucking care. I, I, yeah. I'm not gonna sit around trying to like figure out its timeline to get invested in characters. Like, I don't care. Uh, I was shown the trailer for the new Flash movie, and apparently, like, there's a bunch of different types of like flashes. One yeah. of them is like red. The other one was like a white one, and then apparently there's a yellow one. Yeah, a yellow one as well. Hmm. And apparently, they use like lightsabers almost. Hmm. But it's, like, in the form of, like, a Thunderbolt, kind of. Because, you know, the Flash has, like, that mm-hmm. logo. So, they were having, like, legit sword battles in the in the trailer that I saw. And I was, like... The, the Flash kind of movie is Not supposed to literally just be, like... the It's a DC version of Spider-Man No Way Home. Okay. Because it's Flashpoint. That's, like, when he's going through different fucking timelines mm-hmm. and stuff. That's where he means the two different Batman. Yes, yeah. 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 Just DC trying to like jerk off fucking mm-hmm. some sort of money. But out of it it didn't Marvel in stuff. My, in my sense, it didn't appeal at all. Like it looked like, uh, what was that that movie that um, was tried to like make fun of Star Wars? Spaceballs. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That, that's exactly. a great movie. That's that's what it reminded me of. You don't like Spaceballs. I mean, it wasn't like a serious movie, though. Yeah, it's a comedy. Yeah, exactly. So that's how I feel. Them doing like the whole story battles. That's how like me comparing it to like Star Wars, because that's what it looks like. It looks Mm. like they're holding lightsabers and shit. That's how it felt like that was Spaceballs. (laughs) It was the Flash movie. (laughs) (laughs) We got to watch Spaceballs. That's such a funny movie. I've never seen it. Such a funny movie. I think I've seen bits and pieces. I don't. I don't remember the whole thing. I remember seeing it with my dad when I was really young. Yeah, shit. But. Shit's a classic. That's such a funny movie. You ever yeah, seen Twenty Eight Days Later, Giovanni? Oh yeah. I'm not sure. The zombie movie. What is it? It's uh. Excuse me. Twenty Eight Days Later. I don't think so. We uh, Antonio and I we mm. started it is yesterday. Is that the one in Alaska? No, that's the one in uh, British. Yeah, like the UK. It's like the original Rick Grimes. Like he yeah. wakes up in a hospital, just like Rick Grimes does. Like, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if Walking Dead ripped off this movie. Hmm. I don't know which came out first though. Uh, Twenty Days Later came out in two thousand like four or something. So. Oh, yeah. no, I never seen that. We should watch it. It's really good. Yeah, we we literally just saw like the first ten minutes. Or yeah, something. yeah, just Word. like the opening scene. Yeah, yeah. it's really cool cool movie and there's a sequel 28 weeks later so that's really good you should watch those oh yeah zombie movies another form of zombie have you guys watched the evil dead movies no army of darkness or anything yes see those are i i need to show you you army of darkness we got to watch that one night this camp hell you know machete machete kills you know those movies Mm -hmm. those are spin-offs to spy kids Really? Yeah. What? Are they in the same universe? Yeah. So, like, Machete and Spy Kids is Machete and Machete? Yeah. No fucking way. I I, I follow this page on uh on Instagram called Uber Facts, and 
like all their shit is backed up and legit. And yeah, that was one of the facts yesterday. St- machete kills and machete is is, is canon in so- Spy Kids universe. So wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you're saying the thumb thumbs are canon <laughs> and machete kills? Yeah, it's just in they're in that world, yeah. <laughs> they're just out what? and about in machete. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> yes, here. Machete 2010 and Machete Kills 2013 are spin. That's fu- I can't believe it. I can't believe all of that. What? I'm going to send it. Here, throw it up on screen right now. Yeah. <laughs> That's... Along with the other picture I sent you. I don't understand that correlation but they got it why not dude i cannot believe that's canon you gotta throw up the other picture i sent you too did so, we ever speaking of i can't believe it's canon did we ever talk about the grubhub universe oh uh, dude i was just thinking about that yeah the, oh my god that into my head when you said that the the gcu i'm mad yeah. that that's a thing bro i like, you guys got the floor because you guys introduced me to this the, so you'll introduce to no side listeners oh, brandon you introduced it to me so no, no, I... also when i showed it to Antonio, there was a part there was two a part he two told two me <laughs> <laughs> what in the fuck man <laughs> All right, I don't, this, I don't remember what the part two was. Did we watch it? Yes, we did. I don't remember what because the day, the night we watched the first one, we were like, "There's a," I was like, "There's a part two. And we we're like, "Holy shit!" There's yeah. an actual part two, and we watched it, and it fucking filled in more shit. Oh my God. That's where we saw the uh, the vortex that that the uh, oh yeah yeah on the flash yes, drive the, that shit yeah the the they confirmed it yeah oh my Grub God. Pumpkin, dude tell the no side audience what's up let them in let okay, them in so on this the GCU. Is basically all the Grubhub cinematic commercials I hate this. put together to form one giant theory that it's the same universe as the Jimmy Neutron TV show from what was it the early two thousands mm-hmm. and whatnot. Yeah. That one that just sounds so out of pocket, but <laughs> the first video put so much work and um evidence into it that the grubhub company couldn't deny it anymore it became such a viral video over youtube and everything that they sent them a care package with like something that said confidential you can't show this on camera and everything without permission and whatnot so when they finally got permission they made the video and they basically said that like you're right (laughs) <laughs> like, and, and like, it's insane the G- sends, C- one, sends a letter opens it up dude you're right but like no dude they had like a flash drive in it with just unlabeled oh unlabeled you know what also they USB also had drive. in it that really confirmed it hmm. they had a blueprint of his dog yes of goddard yes. yeah of goddard oh like an God. actual so blueprint like like, you know, the robot was the kid version, like, and then the adult version made of real life. Yeah, Goddard. like the dog, like the dog in the commercial, that's Goddard, but just with like dog flesh over him. I hate that this is a thing. The GCU, yeah, dude, you got to get with it. You need to be a part of this. <laughs> yes. You need to accept it. The you got to watch part two now. Oh my, I'm... <sighs> Should we watch a Jimmy Neutron episode? No. Yeah. No. Do you remember the Jimmy Neutron episode where he made the candy and it was literally whatever flavor, like the best shit you ever tasted? I think so. You it sounds that? very looked... familiar. Did it have like a confetti look to it almost? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. And then like everybody was so obsessed with it that it Jimmy... became a problem. Yeah. And then Jimmy just threw in like a taser in it or something that yeah, every time that he <laughs> chewed it, it'll shock him. <laughs> Oh Remember God. the episode where he made uh, knowledgeable pants or like Attack of the Pants? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember that? No. Oh no, I do. Yes, yes there was an invasion were, of like, pants. Literally, that was like, like one of the first episodes. They were aware. Yeah, they were, <laughs> Senti- they were aware. sentient pants. Yeah, that's what it was. Sentient, sentient pants. pants. <laughs> that is ridiculous. They have minds. And he of made their a, own. he went and made an army of other. He went to like a pant store and just. Made yeah, an army of pants. Levi went, went to Old Navy. Yeah, and <laughs> recruited his army. It's like when Skynet went live. Oh, Levi yes. went live. Pants went live. Good lord. <laughs> the gap goes live. 
Ah, oh, jeez. Jimmy Neutron, but yeah, so GCU guys, that's officially like Jimmy Neutron when he's older. Him yeah. and all his friends. Yeah, and Jimmy Neutron's the one that created Grubhub. Yes, that's yeah. what they're saying. They, they, they wanted it to feel like it's this magical thing, kind of. So mm. it's like you this. order food from your app and it's there. Mm. And now for the people listening, just another little fun fact in the GCU. I'm sure everybody listening, especially if you're listening on YouTube right now, you probably potentially, because we're talking about it, got a Grubhub ad. If you did, sorry, the FBI is definitely listening to you. Um, one of those ads we've, you guys probably have seen the fucking the the kid dancing, the grub like the Grubhub kid, and he's doing mm-hmm. that fucking little wiggle dance. That mm-hmm. is Sheen's kid. Yeah, yeah, he had Sheen a kid from uh, Jimmy he Neutron. He had a wife too at one point, and she big dead. I hate this. Yeah, I hate this. <laughs> the fact so that this much. is real. This is yes, I hate thing. this conversation. Because you remember when we were kids watching Jimmy Neutron? Yeah. Like, did you ever think that he'd be running this? Ten years this later, no, not at all. Oh but it's... Nickelodeon characters. Some some make grub. Some people go on and make Grubhub like, like Jimmy like, Neutron. Some like Jimmy's Drake Bell version. go to jail. I want Jimmy's version of Grubhub. Like the dog ordered the food for him and instead of waiting for it to be delivered like everybody else. Up. Like that's still a magical thing mm-hmm. if you think about it. Like that's crazy that how far technology went for that. But then, you know, Jimmy's version of it literally pops the food out from his phone. Like he yeah. still paid for it and everything. Do you want tacos? They're right in front of you, right? Yeah. Now. And then he eats them. And then they even made that as like a physical point. And when they were doing the whole food theory and everything, he was the only one who get the food like that. Yes. Everybody else had to wait. Yes. So they made it a point that the food was actually real, not just like some, you know, extra effects for the like an illusion. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy to think Grubhub wasn't a thing that he just created. For the world, he most likely created Grubhub just for, yeah, himself, for himself, and then he realized, like, oh shit, I can make money off of this. Yep, I'm gonna get the VIP package. You guys can get what I get. Mm-hmm. But you gotta wait. Or it's like he he took the Grubhub ad and then just modified it to be like that for himself. That mm. could be it too. <laughs> Crazy, but yeah, GCU. The Fuck GCU. this, dude. What if the GCU has a crossover with, with the, the MCU? MCU? <laughs> um, what if the GCU has a crossover with the MCU that has also a crossover with the DCU? I don't think that'll ever happen because the GCU isn't even established. They don't even know what they're doing. Yeah, it's still a universe. They can just pick whatever. I think the GCU is more established. They have like an actual timeline. Oh, yeah. They got on. characters. I, if we're going timeline. that way, then yeah, I think the GCU, unfortunately, is more established than the goddamn DCU. You heard it here, folks. You heard it here, folks. The GCU. The, the GCU. That's the name of this universe. episode. GCU versus DCU. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which was better? Sadly, we're going with GCU. I'm just picturing the DC versus Mortal Kombat cover, the game. Yeah, it's just fucking... <laughs> it's the Grubhub characters and the, the, DC, the DC characters. It's like Superman versus Who? Jimmy. Okay, Neutron. okay. <laughs> you know what? Perfect. Um, Let's let's look up the characters for Grubhub. No, we're right? not doing We're this. making a Justice League right now. We are, we are picking out each character in the GCU. And we're going to see who's the Superman, who's the Batman, Flash, etc. We're going to make the G- that's how we're going to end off this podcast. We're going to make the GCU. What should we call? What should they be called? What should their team name with? I hate this. We got the Avengers. We got the Justice League and then GCU. What should their team be? Not canon. The Meat Defenders. Don't say that. The, the food Meat the- Defender. The- <laughs> you're, you're a Meat Defender. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so I'll throw this on the YouTube as well. But there you go. Oh my god! Yeah, send that oh to fucking god. take a screenshot. Send, yeah, that to send, him. send it to me. I've d- this editing process is gonna be worse than yeah. Normal. You got homework to do now. Yeah, homework. yeah. I was but, I was gonna dude. say something earlier that I was like fuck that I'm gonna need to like edit it in. And I was like never mind. I'll just save it for another conversation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, throw in that picture every time I say throw in that picture when you're listening. It- Flash that picture that I sent you. <laughs> that picture you sent me <laughs> yes, like, right uh, now because I said it, I had to put it up. Yeah, that picture. <laughs> Again, here it is. <laughs> Every time, yo. I'm going to look at it really quick. Oh, my 
god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that picture. <laughs> there it is again. Should I see? Let me see. Let me see. Here, check out. See. Check out that picture. Oh. <laughs> there you go. And like just right now, I'd be there right now. Is yeah. that right now? Yeah. yeah. Say you you have control over it as well. Yeah, right there. Right. That you picture. just said it. It's it's on just, the screen. Just yeah. real quick. Really quick. Like half second. Just pop. I hate everything I'm going to need to do for the next two It needs days. to be, like, flashing, like, yeah, like right really now. There it, is. <laughs> yeah. there it is. There it is. Oh, jeez. Uh, the backstory fun. behind that picture is just one day I woke up thinking about terrible movies. And that one popped in my mind. And I was like, I have to tell somebody. <laughs> so I texted Antonio. I was like, here you go. <laughs> Just, he just sent me movie covers of yeah, bad movies. We, we were like having a legit conversation. I think about like No Side or something, mm. and I just started sending you that, just out of the blue, just bow, bow. Like didn't even give me time to like <laughs> yeah. recoup and give my response. It was just one picture after another. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, here you go. I I got a better image for you to use. For the GCU. Yeah, for the oh, GCU. God. So these are the guys? These are the main characters we have? Yes. So Jimmy Neutron's obviously Iron the Man. The taco right? guy. Like, he's the, oh, yeah. He, he, so, yeah, he would be, he would be like the Iron Man. Uh, who, Sydney Vortex, she would be... Black Widow? You think? Hmm. What else? <laughs> Miss Marvel? <laughs> <sighs> um... I don't know, salad of, lady? I'm trying to think of like blonde characters. Which is either mm. Black Widow or Miss Marvel. I hated that movie. Miss Marvel? Yeah. It was unnecessary. All the whole the Nick Fury backstory, I didn't I don't think anybody cared. They went way it. too far back. Just it, it wasn't necessary. It wasn't. The, the whole cat thing with his eye, I guess, but did I really did we really need to know why he wears the eye patch? Did you, like, when you were waiting for Cat like uh, Captain Marvel to come out, were you hoping you found out Nick Fury, like, how Nick Fury lost his eye? I like how they threw that in, but... Did you need it? No. Of course, nobody needed it, but... It's... <laughs> you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but they wasted their time <laughs> with all of this backstory. No, what they wasted their time with doing is going all the way back... Because they were in technically phase three at the time. They went back to phase one. Yeah. You know what I mean? Unnecessary backstory. Yeah. When they should have just introduced that character way earlier on. But whatever. It is what it is. There's no changing it now. I think Captain Marvel should have came out around now. Eh. She There there was no need for her to be in Endgame. She was in Endgame for like... No reason. Two no. minutes in the exactly. very beginning and the, at the very end. Made a whole movie for her, for her to not be one of the main characters in the final battle of this yeah, the saga. Like one of the strongest. Yeah. So she should have just come out now as one of like the next bigger characters and weaved her into the story that way. I, I yeah, it, I don't like her character. Mm-hmm. But anyway, Sheen, who would he be? Sheen, he. Black Panther. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can see him being like a Hawkeye. A Hawkeye? What is what food does Sheen like in the Grubhub universe? Is it burritos? I don't know, dude. Aren't you well versed in the Grubhub cinematic universe? <laughs> no, you guys are. You guys seen he's, part he's one the, and two. He's the dancing Dead. The dancing Jesus Dead. Christ. He can be Hulk. Yeah? Alright. Yeah. He'll be Hulk. Yeah. Okay. Salad lady, I guess we can give her Black what about Widow. Carl? Carl. You know what? I feel like he can Nick be the Fury. Hulk. He can be the Hulk, yeah. Carl can he's, be the Hulk. He's the smart nerd. Do you dude. remember the episode of Jimmy Neutron where they all had superpowers? Yes. Holy shit, Jimmy was actually Hulk. Yeah, he, he was, was orange. Oh my god, he was the thing. <laughs> dude, yeah. Oh my god, how many characters? Are there four of them? There's the. Her as well, I forgot her name. Libby. Yes. Um. And don't forget, you gotta include um this guy. Bobby. Yes. Oh my god, no way, yes. really? I was just fucking with you. 
Slap, 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 like, I don't clap, think that was clap, ever clap. confirmed, but oh, I remember yeah. that they did bring that up as a point as well, that that was her that husband as this. extra like evidence. He's Doctor Strange. Bobby? Yeah. <laughs> I can see that. I can see that. Sorcerer Supreme. <laughs> Sorcerer Supreme Bobby. <laughs> clap, clap, clap. Jesus. Yeah, Sorcerer Supreme Bobby. <laughs> And then, and then also, there's the mystery of who the who the new character they added into was. Mm. They said that that could have been Jimmy's uh, crush from the show. Oh, I don't know. But I'm uh, to remember, the, remember the, the Jimmy's lady. dad always like ducks and shit. Yeah. Ducks and pie. Yeah. I remember ducks that. And <laughs> ducks and gabagool. Ducks and gabagool. Tony <laughs> Soprano. <laughs> New Jersey mobster who live. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I fucked up. New Jersey mobster who cares for the ducks by the pool. Love Gabagool. Gabagool. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta throw that vine up now, too. Oh my god, dude. I I don't no more homework. No more. Here's that photo again. Bow! <laughs> that picture. That yeah. picture. God damn it. Three more times. Pow, pow, pow. <laughs> each each pow, pow, yeah, fire. each pow. <laughs> you guys aren't here for the podcast. You're here for that picture. For again, that once picture. again, bow, bow. <laughs> okay, I'm done with that. No more. No more editing. No moss. Yeah, no moss. Today's a, This episode is now called That Picture instead of GCU versus DCU. Yeah, it's just that picture. Because you've seen that picture so many. Like, you're seeing saying, it now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 here it is just hold it up on the screen for yeah. five seconds here just take a look one at it. two three four five i hope you guys enjoyed the picture it's that back was, uh, it's yeah it's back one more time <laughs> it's sliding from side to side on the screen now okay i don't want to make do it faded <laughs> <laughs> just uh, make it take over the screen <laughs> just make it fade in that one time though but you got to cut this part out where we're telling you to fade it in so it just happens. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly, people are like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't want to do any of this. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be sitting in the editing chair looking at the screen and You're I'm just like, hearing this conversation. This picture like 50 times. Ah. Uh... And like you're gonna have to like sync it up to be like perfect with the, the audio. I wonder how many times we actually did this. I've been saying lives. it like I don't know if you guys noticed, but I said, "Oh, trust there's me." There's that I, picture. I, I started to realize. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> once it once it became clear to me that I'm the one editing all this. <laughs> yeah, I started picking up on it. Count. <laughs> yeah, I was like, "Shit, yeah." Keeping it tally. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, fucking episode 10, guys. Episode 10, we've hit the double digits of the no side. I'm honestly kind of upset. We talked about the GCU for episode 10. Like, Dude, oh, that's spectacular. Oh my that's God. tremendous. That's huge news for people who don't know about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you know how many people we've just enlightened about the GCU? That, like, literally, there's a potential for Jimmy Neutron TV show to come out when, but, like, in the in the timeline where he's older. Mm-hmm. Is a possibility. GCU is just the final season of Jimmy Neutron. That's what they were saying. It's the epilogue. But, but they, were, <laughs> but they were saying as well that they there was talk of making another show where Jimmy Neutron was like older. This could just be like yeah, they had a it. deal with Grubhub to introduce it. Mm. So this could be something that we see in the future, and Grubhub could be you know a major brand that we see throughout the show. I, I can't wait for a Jimmy Neutron reboot. That would be I'm awesome. hoping for a Drake and Josh like, reboot as well. At his age now, where it's, it's just like gonna be he, Josh. He has, <laughs> like he knows to be responsible with his knowledge because mm. he knows he can't just you know in the Jimmy Neutron show he was a kid he did whatever he wanted and it, obviously not everything was a good idea. Mm-hmm. So I feel like he's older now. He's more responsible. It could be like maybe a little bit more serious. All I show. all I ask in this Jimmy Neutron uh reboot right because we got an iCarly reboot and she like curses i guess she said the bitch where i want a sex scene in the the new jimmy neutron <laughs> reboot. i want oh him God. i want him to get it in with with his crush from uh school or i guess or that sydney vortex bitch yeah get it in her hole or something i don't know Jesus the salad lady toss her salad okay 
<laughs> I hate this show. This is going to be your favorite one. No. Are you excited? No. For the Jimmy Neutron reboot? I'd rather watch fucking all of DCU. And all all that mess. <laughs> yeah, all <laughs> that mess. Brandon's over here with like six different timelines. Yeah, I got three, four different Batmans over here and you... You got a full timeline of the fucking GCU. Yeah, man. It's it's just simple. It's like 10 years later, Jimmy Neutron. Oh, no. they do be vibing. We've watched those commercials. They do be vibing yeah. in the GCU. I'll tell you what. I, n- I never used Grubhub in my life. I used Uber Eats an hour ago. Yeah, actually, that's, that's <laughs> true. I have never used Grubhub. Right? Like, dude, Dorgash hashtag Grub Eats. Lives Matter. Huh? Hashtag Grub Lives Matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. We got it. We, you know what? We're gonna for a week. We just need to only use Grubhub. Grubhub. If you if you're gonna order food, use Grubhub, just to be be respectful. This podcast to the Grubhub. is not sponsored by Grubhub, but we would. But like to. yeah, but yes, yeah. Grubhub. If you're listening, our door is always open for you. We just did a whole episode just for you, Grubhub. Uh, unfortunately, uh, hey hey hey, we want Brandon. We for, want, we un- want unfortunately, we said, uh, come on, we want a sponsor. And yeah, unfortunately, I used Uber Eats an hour ago. Thank I, I, I redeemed see, least, myself. Dude, see? at least you realize your mistake. Yeah, okay, Grubhub, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> what's up? <laughs> Slide in my DM, we'll talk. We'll talk. We'll get to business. Send Bob's and Vagine. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, this has been episode 10 of the No Side Podcast. Here's that picture again. Uh, Bow! About, yeah, one wow. more time, just just for the homies. That picture, that picture, yeah, right there. A whole bunch. This, yeah, this yeah. one. You know what? I'm actually gonna put the the picture like on one of your faces, like on one of your wizards. So okay. like, you should do Brandon. It was his idea. Yeah, you know what? It's the from right right here. Well, how right... about how about you put the picture somewhere on the screen? Just not one on one of our faces, just somewhere on or, screen in the back. You know what I mean? Or every time we say that picture, you just put like you put it over the person who said it. Mm. Like it just flashes over that person's mm. face. That'll be a good way. So then whoever said that picture the most, you're gay. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> dumb. I like the original one where you just flash it. Brandon, why do you sound nervous? <laughs> <laughs> Did you see him start sweating profusely? Because obviously I said it the most. I said, I've been doing it since the beginning of the fucking podcast. <laughs> he started doing numbers. <laughs> he, he was that lady that like in the beat where she just starts calculating for a second, like <laughs> <laughs> Here's that picture again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right, guys. We need to fucking end this podcast before I have to put that picture up anymore. That's yeah, the last yeah. time. All right, guys. Episode 10. You guys have any final words? Oh, fuck. I shouldn't even ask that. That picture. That God, picture. Th- all right, whatever. <laughs> Mirror it. <laughs> <laughs> No side underscore podcast. You can find that on Instagram. You can find this on YouTube at No, no Side Podcast. Um, you guys, want to plug yourselves in? Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at B Mendoza one two seven. And you can follow me at excuse me at Joby Lego at Instagram and Twitter. Word. And you can find me at that picture. Bye, guys. It's been fun. Bye. 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 Bye.